I know a lot of y'all are too good to use public restrooms, but for those of us who don't have a choice all the time, I'm going to school y'all on how to properly prep a toilet. And keep in mind too, this is only in the event that, you know, the public restroom don't have those little disposable toilet seat things that you can just flush down the toilet and use. Steps three and four can be interchangeable as well. Some people like to do these first and then go with these, but I like to do them all in kind of one order. All right, for some of y'all, y'all may have never heard this. And for me, myself, I hadn't even heard it. I just thought about it. So, fellas, listen to me because this next step is very vital. Tear you off two pieces of ZA high and go ahead and put it right here. That's called the Johnson Control. For those of y'all who chicken look, you ain't got to really worry about that part. But for those of y'all that's straight, I mean, you don't want your Johnson rubbing up against the front of the commode. So, you got you know, to protect yourself. Y'all laughing, man, but I'm serious as a mug, man. You can't go up in that thing unprotected, man. You got to take them cheeks and that Johnson. Hey, and that's a public service announcement, man. That's for public restrooms, man. Don't go to your auntie house and use all of her Dollar General tissue. And then, hey, you just might well go ahead and assume the toilet seat cleaner. Go on, wipe it off a little bit. But, yeah, she found out you didn't use all, uh, all of her tissue on that, uh, on that seat. Y'all going to have some problems. I'm telling y'all from experience.